You know, lately, people have asked me, Guns, are you enjoying the Battlefield 1 open beta? <laughs> oh, he, ah, he's on fire! <laughs> Error to attack me. Ah, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Azid! Azid! That little shed. Got him! Yeah. Oh my god, we did so much work. I'm 11 and 0! <laughs> <laughs> that's a grenade! That's a grenade! Right. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's a grenade, alright. Why? Why? No! Why did you stand in front of it? God damn it! Why? I survived. Oh my God! I'm Jesus! I can't shoot that. Can't shoot that! Yeah, it's pretty safe to say that I enjoy the Battlefield 1 open beta. It, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a very new, fresh take on first-person shooter games in our day and age. And I think Battlefield 1 is the perfect place to take it back into World War II. The issue is, when you're developing first-person shooters these days that are modern, everybody expects everything to be automatic. Everybody expects everything to penetrate through walls, to have the biggest no, explosions. Not. But when you limit yourself in a timeline sense all the way back to World War One, there are some more difficulties to make it authentic, but there are also nice limitations that are set to yourself based on how realistic you want to be to the genre of World War One shooters. Now, obviously, there are things here they couldn't do, like trench warfare, because that would just be insanely boring for everybody if we just all stood in trenches and shot each other all the time. Although, there could be a lot of fun iterations of it, and I could see them doing it in maps, certainly. The French map that they showed in the closed alpha was a bit of a trench warfare map, and there were certainly some fun, fun moments you could have in the trenches. And it's not all just automatic weapons. Currently, there are a few automatic weapons that I think are a little bit too good. One in particular, a certain submachine gun, which I'm not going to give away. Hopefully, they'll nerf. I've put it in my reports to them. But there are some very strong semi-automatic and bolt-action weapons here that are non-scout based and you, uh, that, that, that are assault based that if you're a person up front, you'd rather use. There's also some very, very slow fully automatic weapons that are like pop, 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 pop. I mean, that's super slow to today's modern firearms comparably okay, so it does feel a little bit more realistic in that sense and those limitations set in do make oh, it a little bit guy. more fun the semi-automatic route seems like it could be a better choice however i would like to see some high powered bolt actions for assault classes that have shortened up barrels for us to use in close corridors that can one or two shot people based on where we hit them in the body i think those kind of skill impact weapons that are bolt action could make a huge difference in how people play and approach this game and give us big styles. But we are limited to what we can use in the beta, so that might possibly be in the final game. Overall, besides some minor balancing issues, which I'm sure they're going to tweak and fix, that's part of the reason for having an open beta, I really enjoy this I, I really enjoy this battlefield, like overall, the whole everything about it. I enjoy the gunplay, I enjoy the settings. This is very close to what Battlefront looked like, the Star War, EA Star Wars Battlefront, in terms of the photogrammetry that they're using. So the look is so impressive, and that coupled with the fact that this is actually a super fun game to play, as opposed to Battlefront, makes this... I'm feeling like this... this just from this beta, and the six or seven hours I've played, honestly, more variety in this game is going to put it up there to a Game of the Year status. It very well could. And they did everything so right. Nothing feels bad. Some stuff feels janky, but I kind of accredit that too. It's World War One. Yeah, fucking SUVs with machine guns on the top of them were janky as hell in the day. And that gives it a more authentic feel, honestly. It's like this fucking buggy with this submachine gun strapped to the top of it on this little cart. It's stupid as shit, but it might work, but it probably won't. And not only that, but the biplane air battles feel so good. Biplanes don't feel overpowered, for one, because you can take them down with small arms fire from the ground. You just have to hit them enough time, and that makes sense because they weren't armored like modern-day jets. 
you can actually penetrate them super easily. The fuselage penetrate that super easily yeah, with small arms really fire of World War One. So if you had two or three people focusing on a plane as it drives by, you can take the pilot out, the whole plane out, if you wanted to, if they're not careful enough. So planes don't feel overpowered in any sense of the way. None of the on-map um, variations of weapons, for instance, uh, like the train. The train on the desert does not feel overpowered. You can certainly make a big impact with it, but you can also disable it fairly easily if you focus. Overall, everything feels really good. If you're a Battlefield fan, you will fucking love this game. The destruction is there to a more dialed up degree than before, but it's also pulled back because there aren't nearly as many things to have that destruction. It feels like more refined destruction, more realistic destruction. In Battlefield 4, to me, it felt like everything blew up to tiny little bits and pieces all the time, and I hated that. Even with full vehicles and tanks, it all feels so balanced, like we actually could, if four or five of us have these anti-tank grenades, we could take out this tank together. It feels balanced in that sense, and that World War One setting lends it to that credibility that, yeah, our tanks weren't exactly awesome back then, and people could strap janky-ass bombs to the bottom of them and take them out. So yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving all of it. I highly recommend you check it out. It's an open beta right now. You can go over to Battlefield and try it out for yourself. I'll be streaming it most of the week and some of this weekend on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash three guns down. Uh, we're also going to do some Fallout and of course Legion, World of Warcraft this week, but yeah, I'm going to play a lot more of this. I'm supremely enjoying this game. I'm guns, guys. Like, favorite, subscribe, blah, 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 do all the other stuff. Leave comments down below. What do you think of the Battlefield 1 beta and everything else you need is in the description, including Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Green Man Gaming, and Patreon to support the channel. I'm guns. I'm getting out of here. Go play this beta. Trust me, you need to. Later, everybody. I have a cookie. There we go. into the oh, left side. That little shed. Got him! Yeah. <laughs> In front of us! Oh god. Uh, got hit by something. Got him! I don't know where we're getting hit from. We're left side, left side! Miss. Oh, he hurting. clear to move on to the next point. Oh my god, we did so much work. I'm 11 and 0! <laughs> <laughs>